For any number of us, Wikipedia is the go-to website for the latest on COVID-19. So how is it measuring up? Wired Magazine Editor-in-Chief Nicholas Thompson went searching for answers. One of the strangest things about the modern internet has been the rise of Wikipedia. It was just a decade ago when we talked about the site as, let's be blunt, a place for lies and nonsense. Wikipedia is the best thing ever. Anyone in the world can write anything they want about any subject. So you know you are getting the best possible information. But since then, the site has transformed. Today, Wikipedia is regularly the first place that many of us check for information about everything. In fact, Wikipedia's pages on COVID-19 and the pandemic are viewed more than a million times a day and edited almost every hour of the day. Chances are good that when you visit the page, Dr. James Heilman may have just finished editing it. We don't have a vaccine, but we do know that this disease can be stopped. James Heilman, or Doc James as he is known, is one of the hundred editors or so with Wiki Project Medicine, which edits and reviews all the medical content on Wikipedia. His view? The only proven way to stop COVID-19 is through social distancing. Do you think that social distancing is working? Yes, definitely. We have a good understanding of the um, transmission of disease. You know, if everybody was to hold entirely still for four weeks, this disease would be eradicated. In his other life, Heilman is an ER doctor at a small hospital in Canada. I do not recommend people trust Wikipedia blindly. You know, I think doing so would be silly. Um, yet, you know, people shouldn't trust other sources of information blindly either. Wikipedia runs solely on the goodwill of volunteers like Dr. Heilman. Some are your typical denizens of the internet. Others are academics and retirees like Rosie Goodnight Stevenson. We, the editors of Wikipedia, are really like a learning machine. We collaborate, we have networks of people who work in various areas. She wrote English Wikipedia's six millionth article last year. We've learned that what we did initially, which were write articles that maybe didn't have a reference or enough references, that that wasn't the best choice for an encyclopedic article. She says references and transparency are critical to Wikipedia's success. You can check every edit. If something is wrong, you can go ahead and fix it. It relies on reliable sources. Catherine Marr is the CEO of the Wikimedia Foundation, the nonprofit that runs Wikipedia. She says that in comparison to the news we get off social media, Wikipedia almost always wins. It turns out there's a lot of challenges with social networks when it comes to information distribution. Um, a lot of questions about whether they can be trusted, who's monitoring for that. Marr says having your own private news feed can actually divide us, which is a problem that Wikipedia doesn't have. There's just one front page of Wikipedia. It doesn't matter if you are in Iran or in Italy or in Japan or sitting here in New York City. You're all looking at the same information. Still, even though medical pages are strictly monitored by the Wikimed project and hot topics that get a lot of page views are carefully edited, inaccurate information persists on some of Wikipedia's less read pages. When I started working on this story, I looked myself up on Wikipedia, and someone had edited my entry to describe me as a Martian. Who is Nicholas Thompson? According to Wikipedia, Nicholas Thompson is a Martian technology journalist. So how do you keep information accurate on Wikipedia? Wikipedia feels the answer is to recruit more and more diverse editors. One way, in fact, that Wikipedia has tried to expand its pool of editors is through edit-a-thons, like this one held in Hong Kong in March. Wikipedia becomes more important because of people using the internet more and more widely. Different organizations with their own political aims and goals would try influencing Wikipedia. Companies, governments, and politicians all have tried to edit Wikipedia entries for their own benefit. But Wikipedia editors are using computer programming to fight back. Now, every time someone makes an edit from the White House, a computer algorithm notes the edits and sends out a tweet about it. But it's no secret why someone would want to influence Wikipedia. 
Knowledge is power, and that means that it is fundamentally disruptive, often to those in power. Um, if you think about the history of what Wikipedia is, it's actually pretty radical. And I don't mean that in like a political sort of left-right way. I mean that it is an inversion of power structures, this idea that information can and should be available to all. But it's no secret why someone would want to influence Wikipedia, which explains why lowly Wikipedia which was founded in 2001 by Larry Sanger and Jimmy Wales, almost as a kind of experiment, has grown to be one of the most visited websites on the planet. It also explains why it's banned in China. In fact, one in three Americans now gets their medical information from the web, which is fine with Dr. Heilman. I don't mind having an educated patient. And do you think that having accurate information about COVID-19 on Wikipedia can save lives? You know, right now, the only tools we have at our disposal to combat this virus is education around how it spreads. You know, this disease can be stopped by knowledge. I genuinely think that Wikipedia runs on generosity and care. Somehow, this encyclopedia on the internet has given an outlet to millions of people to show that good. In case you were wondering, on March 30th, an anonymous internet user based in Hillsborough, Oregon, using a cell phone, decided to make two changes to Wikipedia. One was a detail about baseball's opening day, and the other was about me. I'm no longer a Martian technology journalist. I am an American technology journalist. So thank you, anonymous internet user. Sunday morning, 24 hours a day. Check out our website.